one of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, oh! Hey guys, welcome back to the Swamp. It's the Functional Gamers here, bringing you a brand new video. It's a team of the year trading method. It should really help you get lots of coins while everyone is just selling their players during team of the year. So basically, if you don't know, somehow, they have released the first five players of the team of the year. We've got Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva, Dani Alves, and Neuer. So anyway, these are very sweet players, but if you're like me, you can't afford to just buy them straight out. You have to do some trading to get there. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is helping you get there. So I've been kind of testing out a few formations, or I mean a few methods, and they have been working very well because people are just really not paying attention. So the player I'm going to be doing this with first is going to be Obama Yang. Now, it's best to do this with players who are in high demand, but people aren't going to be going crazy for him. So, like, Team of the Year card, for instance, people are just going crazy looking for them. But Albany Yang, people like him, but people aren't looking for him right now. So, basically, what you're going to want to do is first find their max, or their minimum buy now price. So, if we search, there's, alright, there's one for 11k and there's one for 11,250. So, if we're going to be selling this one on, you got to remember 5% uh, tax, of course. So, we could sell it on for a maximum of 10750 and 5% of that would be around 600 So, 10750 minus 600 would be around 10150 So, basically, what you're going to want to do next, uh, since we can only search, I think, I think at the 10000 range, you can search in increments of 250 coins. So, we're going to have to go to 200k, or sorry, to 10 10,000 K. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words today. You're going to want to go to 10,000 coins and you're going to want to set the, that as the max price and then you're just going to bid on everything. So here we see one for 9.3. Just bid on it. This one actually is so super low. So you want to raise it up. You want to raise it up because people, they're not going to be bidding, but if they see something as cheap as 3,000 coins, they're just, they're going to obviously see that. And if they have got chemistry cards, that's even better. You see that one has a finisher card. But really, you're going to lose some of these bids. I guarantee it. But people aren't going to be going crazy for this Obama Yang. So as long as you bid on like 10 cards, I guarantee you, you're, you're bound to win at least one or two of them. And that's, that's right there. Depending on how much you bid on it, that's pretty sick profit. Alright, so what I've done here is I've bid on every single Obama Yang up until the hour mark. And once you get past the hour mark, it takes too long, people start seeing it, so I like to stick to the hour method. And if you go over to my transfer targets, you see I've been doing this a lot, and I'm actually losing this one, and that's a bit too much for me, so I'm going to sell them away. And you just got to remember to always keep on checking their price, because sometimes their price will fluctuate. And then you're ending up, if let's say you're bidding on all the cards for 10k and they start selling for 10k, well then you're going to be in problems because when you want to sell them on again, then you're going to be losing coins by selling them for their price. As you see, 11k is still the cheapest, so bidding for anything around 10k is still good enough. And I have been doing this quite a bit if you take a look at my transfer list, and it's been making me quite a bit of profit actually. I've probably made in the, uh, the first day span, I didn't get to play too much, but I made about... 30,000 coins with this method in about an hour, which is pretty great, I think. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment what other players you're using this with to help other people out. Anyway, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time at the Swamp. Peace.